guys, so today I am finally going to be putting out a review that I mentioned a long time ago that I wanted to do. Um, it is for the, let me show you a couple of them, the Hedgehogs and Friends shampoos. And I also bought the cage cleaner. I actually bought these products back in April and I approached them about doing a review um, because I wanted to ask them some questions. I did pay for these with my own money. I'm not sponsored. I don't have a coupon code, nothing like that. This is 100% my own opinion. Yeah, but I approached them in April because I wanted to ask them some questions about how the company was formed and sort of the history and uh, what they expect for the future of their company. So I want to go ahead and read you guys some of their answers because I thought they were really great answers and um, I think it might be interesting for you guys to learn about if you're not interested in the history of the company or learning about what they might be coming out with in the future then you can go ahead and skip forward um, where I talk about the actual products and show them in use a little bit. So one of the first things I asked them was how this company came about, what made them want to do this, um, because for those of you who don't know, this company is a company that put out shampoos and a cage cleaner specifically designed for hedgehogs, though it is other animal friendly, that's why it's hedgehogs and friends. Um, so I just wanted to know a little bit about their history because at the time of me purchasing these products in April again, um, I actually, there wasn't a ton of information out about them. I haven't checked their site today, so I'm not positive if they've put out more information since then. I'll have to check that out. Um, but basically they answered my email really quickly and they were super interested in uh, my review when I'm done. Unfortunately, it took me a long time because I had some personal things going on and anyway, so now it's June. I've had plenty of time to test these products out and tell you exactly how well they worked for my hedgehogs um, and how well I enjoyed them or how much I enjoyed them rather. So, um... Like I said, one of the very first questions I asked was how they decided to do this, and I'll just read you what they wrote because I think it's really interesting. Hedgehogs and Friends is a passion project for myself and my business partner. We own a marketing company together, and as part of our full-time jobs, we work with some of the best organic product manufacturers in the country, that being the U.S. We are also USDA licensed hedgehog breeders, which is a fun hobby for us as animal lovers. We get so many questions from our customers about what supplies to buy, and there is a real lack of hedgehog specific products on the market, which I can attest to. We were very interested in developing products that were made from super safe yet effective ingredients and our organic product manufacturers that we have relationships with through our full-time job were a natural partner for us. They created formulas and we tested the products for over a year with our personal herd of hedgies. For hedgehogs, dry skin is a real problem. Hogwash is made from moisturizing ingredients that help with that problem. Once we knew the formulas were good, the next step was creating the brand and the look of the line. I'll show you one of them. We really wanted it to be fun to use, so the bright colors and illustrations were a perfect way to go. We called it Hedgehogs and Friends because while we created the products with hedgehogs in mind, we knew that it would also be great for other small pets. So that's sort of just a little bit of background for you guys and sort of why they went ahead and did this because, again, like they mentioned, there's a severe lack of products designed for hedgehogs, which is kind of crazy because, you know, there are a lot of other products for a lot of other animals, and you would think with how popular hedgehogs are to own these days that maybe there would be something a little more um, conducive to the type of skin they have, which dries out really quickly because of their quills. So this product was designed for that, but it is also safe for other animals and I can tell you right now that um I actually one of the guinea pigs Pippin actually is due for a bath coming up soon well just a bum bath but I'm really interested in trying one of these on him because the only other company that 
puts out shampoos that I trust is Gorgeous Guineas and they are a UK based company. Whereas this is a US based company so it's easier for me to get a hold of. I then asked uh, if they were going to be putting out any other products that they could discuss because I'm sure they are thinking about a ton of things that they can't talk about yet. Um, so yeah, I asked if they were coming out with anything in the future. Some of the things they mentioned in this email, are, they're actually already out. So I'll mention that when I get to it. Um, but I'll just read you what she, they said because she was really thorough in her email, which was great. We have been really blown away by the immediate response after launch. We didn't really know what to expect, but we are very appreciative of all the new customers and great feedback. We do have more products in development, but we really want to test and perfect them before getting ahead of ourselves. Remember she mentioned they, test, they sh tested the shampoos and the cage cleaner for a whole year before putting it out to the public, which I think is really efficient. Sorry, my dogs are licking each other. Um, which I think is really efficient and great because that means that they're not putting out something that, you know, they wouldn't use themselves as breeders. So while I don't know the timelines, I can say that we are working on a hedgehog food that is actually healthy and made from appropriate ingredients. And we also have some fun hedgehog themed products for humans coming out like pillow stickers and leggings, which are already out on their site. So you can check those out. I'll put the link to all of this stuff down below for you. Their site is super cute as is all of their, their theming and um, sort of marketing. So yeah, that was, that was the basics that I wanted to cover with them because I wanted to be sure that I was including that in the video so that you guys sort of knew um, why I went ahead and tested these on my animals because I am really, really hesitant in testing new products on my pets. I don't want anything to hurt them. I don't want anything to cause issues. But sort of hearing that and seeing some of the reviews, particularly on Instagram, um, there's a big pet community on Instagram, a big hedgehog community specifically, and there are a ton of people that I have followed for years that were using it, so I wanted to sort of go ahead and dip my toes in. My order was of the entire line, not including the human stuff, but the entire sort of cleaning line, um, and that is three shampoos. I don't know if I can hold all of these at once. You know what? I'll show them to you individually. That's fine. <laughs> um, so the first one that I was really interested in was this unscented one. And this came out after the first two, if it will focus, there you go. The bottles all look similar, but they have different colors. And then of course they'll say on them um, whether they are unscented or not. So this is the unscented one. I was really excited about this one, um, but I'll be honest, I haven't used it as much as I thought I would and I'll let you know why in a second. <laughs> this is why I have not used that one as nearly as much as I thought I was going to be because um, this is the coconut and lime one and it smells so good guys. Like so good. It makes the hedgehog smell good. They, it's, they're not bothered by it because it's not super strong. It's just like, oh, it's so good. Um, if I could use this myself, I mean, I could. I could. It's 100% organic, cruelty-free, made in the U.S. Um, anyway, I could use this myself, but I'm not going to use theirs. So. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, um, this is this is amazing, um, and this is definitely the favorite thing out of my entire order. I've used. I'm down to here already, and my hedgehogs don't get baths that often. And then the last one, which I actually don't like, and it's not because I don't like the product. It's because I don't like the smell. I sort of knew that that was going to happen, but I wanted to go ahead and get the whole line anyway, just so that I could test the whole line. And that is the grapefruit and cilantro scented one. These are all pretty much the same um, formula with different scents. I don't like this one. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't like the way this one smells. I knew I wasn't going to though because I don't like cilantro. And this definitely smells like cilantro. A little bit sweeter um, be because of the grapefruit, but definitely cilantro. <laughs> um, which hasn't impacted its use. I have used it, um, but I haven't used it as much as these other two. Um, just because 
smell of really isn't for me. If you don't like the way cilantro smells, you're not gonna like that one. And then the last product that I bought is their cage cleaner, which is called Squeaky Clean. And it is a, um, a lavender scented vinegar based cage cleaner. Um, I, I generally use just vinegar and water, so I'm never super fussed about um, cage cleaning items, but I thought this was really cute. Um, and I just, I just wanted to be sure that I was trying the whole line. Um, I can say once I get to this portion of the review that this is probably the one thing that I was least impressed by, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Each of the shampoos in this size are $8, which as you can tell, it's a pretty big size. So all three of these, you can also get a 16 ounce, which obviously is much bigger than this for $15. Um, and then you can also do sort of combos. So the way I did this was I bought um, a shampoo and a cage cleaning bundle, and that was $15.50, and then I added the two extra shampoos on for the additional $8. So as you can see, the prices weren't outrageous. In fact, I thought they were pretty fair, um, especially because I didn't find it very expensive to order all of this. Um, and even then, these shampoos are big. I mean, you can buy the bigger versions, but these are, six ounces is a lot for an animal that doesn't get baths that frequently. Um, so yeah, I thought that, that it was really fair. The shipping was great um, and really quick. Of course, I'm in the US, so that would be different if you were ordering from somewhere else. I can't really attest to how that goes. Um, so that's where they came from. I will say that um, these came in a bubble mailer and they each had a uh, wrapper around the top, which was great. I'll try and insert a clip that I took of that. The only one that I had an issue with was the cage cleaner when it came in. It had leaked a little bit, but really not much. Nothing that was like excessive. Um, it was just a little wet around the top, which isn't a problem. Um, and I didn't lose like a ton of product or anything crazy like that. So uh, let's get on to how well these work. I can tell you right now, I love the shampoos. So I have been using the shampoos on both of my hedgehogs consistently for about two months now. Um, like I mentioned, I ordered these in April and it is now almost July. So um, I've been using them for quite a while, which I'm glad that I managed to get that much um, use out of them during that time. They have been fantastic. I will insert a clip, of course, of me actually using it on the hedgehog so you can see sort of the lather and things like that. They weren't bothered by it, um, particularly because I, I did end up using, you know, the scented ones. And when using scented shampoos with your hedgehogs, you always have to be sort of concerned whether they're bothered by scented products or um, whether they're gonna try and anoint with their shampoos, which is a problem that I often have with Blaze, which is why I was excited about them having an unscented one, but he doesn't seem all too fussed about this guy. So over the course of the time that I have used these products, I've been really, really impressed with them. Um, I have not experienced any dry skin with the hedgehogs, and I deliberately stopped using some of the moisturizing things that I use, like uh, Himalac, which unfortunately is discontinued, but I have some left, so I still use it from time to time. I purposefully stopped using things like that in coconut oil to sort of judge their claim that these are moisturizing on them. And of course, I, my hedgehogs don't get baths all the time. If you are bathing really regularly, then of course you're gonna have to worry about dry skin no matter what you use, just because of the water. But um, I didn't find that they were getting flaky or dry. In fact, their skin was fine. It still is fine. Like I've, these have had no impact negatively. In fact, um, since I haven't had to moisturize their skin, I'd say that these, the claim that these are moisturizing shampoos are absolutely true. Um, I really, really, really love the shampoos. In fact, I would 100% recommend them for not only your hedgehogs, but most animals. I'm not gonna recommend them to all small animals because I think you should be the judge of that, but I 
100% I'm going to try them on the guinea pigs um, because I think they'll be great with the guinea pigs. Um, so jumping from the shampoos, which I loved, to something I didn't love as much, that would be the cage cleaner. Um, it smells nice. It really does. It smells like lavender, which isn't my favorite scent, but it's not overwhelming. It's not a super strong. Um, it's pretty much just enough to cover up the amount of vinegar that's in this because this is vinegar based. Um, this cleaned really well. I used it cleaning cages. I don't have a clip of that. Um, I wish I did, but I did use it cleaning cages a few times. Um, I used it cleaning a wheel once. I used it to clean a sand bath before I put new sand in. So I did test it pretty thoroughly. Um, and as you can see, I didn't use a whole lot of it because a little goes a long way with this from what I've found. So I did use it. It works. I did like it um, and I really liked not having to smell vinegar all the time. My main problem with this is it did leave a residue behind, um, which I think there might be some sort of uh, soap in this or something um, because as you can see there are bubbles at the top well you might not be able to see that there are bubbles there from me moving it around so like I'm not sure what's in it that would cause a lather like that um, because I don't see anything in here anyway it wasn't a problem but it just it was the sort of thing that I had to go back over with like a wet washcloth or whatever um, which is fine it was just something that definitely surprised me and if you touch it you can actually feel the la like the residue on your fingers as well like when I was um, cleaning this bottle for when it spilled a little during transit there was a definite residue like I can feel it now on the bottle itself and on the nozzle itself and it just feels kind of almost oily which again isn't really an issue because if you're spraying cleaners on your cages most likely you're already going through and you know wiping with a wet washcloth afterward to sort of pick up any residues that are left behind but I was a little surprised that this had one um, because it's vinegar based and vinegar doesn't leave residue but obviously because of the scents and stuff there are other things in this so I wasn't disappointed in that it didn't work I was mostly just bummed that it wasn't like a one and go kind of thing but to be honest I'm gonna keep using it and I'm probably gonna rebuy it when I run out so you can take that opinion how it comes if you're not interested in something like that then maybe stick with the shampoos because I can tell you right now that the shampoos are probably one of the best things that I have ever tried for my hedgehogs honestly they are so good and I'm really excited some of the merch that they have on their site is so cute let me pull up a couple things that I can show you from my phone a lot of it is designed around this hedgehog here if it'll focus for you guys which is super cute um, and it's sort of reminiscent of the same hedgehogs that they have on their packaging they also have prints um, for cell phone cases and stickers and um, pillows and leggings and the print on all of those is this print I can show you it best on the pillow and it's super cute there's a donut and uh, the hedgehog there and pineapple and a hedgehog running on a wheel which um, I don't know how well you can tell but the wheel in these photos is actually the same oh sorry the wheels in these photos is actually the same kind of wheel that we have. Um, it's a bucket wheel, which I think is super cute and sort of further attests to their knowledge of hedgehogs. Um, and then they also have some cage supplies, um, mostly cage labels, if you can see that there. And then they've they've got like a whole set here, nail clippers, more stickers. So that's all cute. And then um, and that set is a gift set, by the way. And then they also have water bottles that have um, a cute little hedgehog drinking on them. If that'll focus, which I also think is 
crazy adorable. My hedgehogs don't use water bottles because uh, you guys know my hedgehogs do better on bowls. I'm sh I think I've mentioned that before. Um, but yeah, so overall, I am really, really happy with this company, with their products with their ethics, with everything being, you know, 100% organic and tested so thoroughly. I just dropped that. <laughs> um, I think it says a lot about a company that they are testing products for such a lengthy amount of time. Um, and they're putting out things that are safe and that actually work. And I think that's incredible. And it is so nice to be able to, um, you know, find something that actively works against some of the things that hedgehogs struggle with, like dry skin. No matter how gentle a shampoo is, the more you give them baths, the drier their skin gets. And I found these to be super efficient at combating that. Um, and again, the cage cleaner was great. My only issue was the residue that it left behind, but even that can be combated. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really thoroughly happy with this and I'll continue to buy from them. I think if they keep putting out products that, um, oh, I'm just dropping everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I am super excited to see where they go and see how the hedgehog food, um, process works out. And if that's decent, maybe I'll try that too. Well, uh, I definitely want to sort of keep track of the brand and maybe keep trying products if they keep putting them out. And um, I'll definitely be repurchasing shampoos whenever I run out. I've got a lot to go through now, <laughs> but eventually I'll buy more. To be honest, I might buy more of this even if I still have these left over because, oh my God, I'm dropping everything, guys. Uh, but yeah, I might I might keep buying this even if I don't run out of the other two because this one is so nice. It smells so good. Oh, so good. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to check out the brand. I will leave a link down below. Maybe you're interested in purchasing some of these and testing them out yourself. Let me know how you feel about them if you have or are going to. Um, and yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I put out videos weekly. I try to do more than one a week, but you know, life. Um, so yeah, thank you again, and I will see you in our next one.